Firefox is the open source web browser created by Mozilla, a nonprofit organization focused on privacy and security of its users. It comes pre installed on Linux Mint, and we recommend it for most people. If you want to make sure you're staying as safe as possible online, there are a few options that we recommend turning on. To change the privacy and security settings for Firefox, first open up Firefox, either by clicking on the button on your panel, or by opening your menu, going to the internet category, and clicking on Firefox web browser. From here, you can go to the top right corner of your screen, where you'll find three lines all stacked on top of each other, kind of like a hamburger. This is your menu. Go ahead and click on it with the left click mouse button. Then go to preferences and left click. From here, we wanna to go to privacy and security. So we'll find that on the left hand menu and click. The first thing you'll see is the Enhanced Tracking Protection. By default, it'll be set to Standard. You can set your own preferences by going to the Custom category and enabling or disabling different settings. For example, you can disable tracking content for all of the windows that you open, whether they're in private mode or not. You will need to click Reload All Tabs in order for this to take effect. The next setting that you might want to enable is sending the do not track signal to all websites. You can click this by selecting always. If you want to prevent websites from being able to track you as easily as possible, you can select delete cookies and site data when Firefox is closed. This makes Firefox act like a private browser even when you're not in private mode. However, this will make websites load a little bit more slowly, so it's up to you if you prefer the speed or the security. In general, we don't recommend letting any browser save your passwords, but if you really want that convenience, we recommend enabling the Use Primary Password feature built into Firefox. Simply check the box, and then type in the password that you would like to be your master password. This password will be required anytime you want to autofill any saved usernames, passwords, or any other information. If I type in a simple password, like say, password, we'll see that the password quality meter ranks this password as very low. Using the word password as your password definitely is not recommended. If you want to know what makes a strong password, check out our video on passwords and password managers. Once you've entered the password twice, making sure that it's the same exact password in each box, the blue OK button will get a little bit darker, signaling that you're ready to set your master password. If you ever forget this password, you will not have access to any of your other saved usernames or passwords, so it's really important to make sure that this is something memorable and safe and secure. Scrolling down, we'll find a few more settings that we might want to change. If you want Firefox to really act like a private window, not only do you want it to disable all tracking cookies and other site information, but you also want it to delete your history. To do this, click on the drop down menu and select Never Remember History. For most people, we feel like this safety measure is a little bit overkill, but it is there in case you want it. For now, I'm just going to let Firefox remember my history. Your address bar can also be modified so that it doesn't suggest previous browsing history, bookmarks, top sites, or any other preferential treatment to any sort of websites or internet searches. To disable these, you can go ahead and uncheck any boxes that you don't feel comfortable with. If you scroll down a little bit further, you'll find a section where Firefox talks about the information that Mozilla tracks on you. This is usually limited to things like crash reports or even some studies to make sure that the system is running properly. But you are free to enable or disable this as you feel comfortable. The last setting that we find in privacy and security is the optional HTTPS only mode. 
Essentially, this will ensure that any website that you are connecting to is a secure encrypted connection and is only connected to that one website. Most reputable websites use HTTPS, so all the big platforms shouldn't have any major issues. Anytime you find a website that is HTTP and not HTTPS, Firefox will automatically give you a warning if you have HTTPS mode only enabled. To do this, click on the Enable HTTPS Only Mode in All Windows button. That's all of the main privacy and security settings that we'll find in Firefox. Thanks for watching, we hope you learned something, and we'll see you in the next one.